Now we're going to begin simplifying some more complex expressions. Keep all those combining rules in mind. Remember, we have to talk about you know combining like terms. We're going to be uh, doing distribution. We're going to be doing our positive and negative rules. Everything we've done so far combining in here. So our first problem says we have 5 times x minus 7 minus 8x. Well, first things first, do you see here that we are multiplying to uh, more than one term inside this parentheses? That's whenever we know we have to distribute. So we're going to multiply 5 times x, which is 5x, and then 5 times negative 7, which is negative 35. Now we still have this minus 8x out here that we've not done anything with yet. But notice that we have x's that we can combine. These are like terms. So 5x and a negative 8x would be negative 3x. And then we still have our minus 35 that can't be combined with anything. So our answer then is negative 3x minus 35. In this problem, do you notice that we've got two sets of parentheses here? We're multiplying to more than one term and we're multiplying to more than one term again in the second part of the problem. This is actually two sets of distribution. So we always take care of our distribution first. So negative 2 times x would be negative 2x. Negative 2 times 4 would be negative 8. Positive 8 times 3x would be positive 24x. And positive 8 times negative 1 would be negative 8. Now we can combine our like terms. Negative 2x and 24x can combine to give us 22x. And negative 8 and negative 8 can combine to give us negative 16. In the next example, we have 3x minus 4 times x plus 2 plus 1. Can you see where the distribution is? Right there. We're going to distribute, but we have our 3x first. Now negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then we also have our positive 1. Now notice when I distributed, I did not just distribute the 4. This negative goes along with the 4. Remember, the sign goes with its number. So we have to be very careful for that. Now we can combine like terms. So 3x and negative 4x would be a negative x. Remember, we don't have to put the 1. It's not necessary. And negative 8 and positive 1 combine to give you a negative 7.